at the age of 15, I first started researching for this film. Expressing ourselves and having a right to hear other people express themselves is what makes life extraordinary. It doesn't matter if you have the freedom to express yourself on a moon when no one's listening. What's important is that people have the ability to communicate. Also, well, with me now is the man behind that film, Free Speech, Free Fear, uh, Tarquin Ramsey. He directed uh, and produced it. Uh, you're 20 now. You started this five, 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 five years ago. What, what made you want to explore free speech? Well, it actually started off as quite a, quite a simple idea. So me and my dad were in Sri Lanka um, talking to these locals in the most remote area. They had no idea who David Cameron was. They had no idea about these other Western politicians. But they were very, very, very supportive of people like Julian Assange and, and WikiLeaks. So my dad sort of said, well, why don't you make sort of like a montage, like a 10 minute film, uh, asking what is free speech? And then sort of try and sort of put the clips together, uh, the responses together, and then put it on YouTube. So five years later, you produced this. Yeah. Um, we in the West, like to think that we do have um, uh, freedom of expression, um, uh, free speech. What, 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 did you, what did you find? Well, when I first started making this film, I really had no idea what free speech was. It's taken us about five years to get to where we are now. And from making this film, I cannot stress enough how much free speech is under attack. In what way? Surveillance. It's really this idea of being watched. Um, and it's this idea that when you're being watched, you sort of tend to, you, you kind of sort of like, sen you sense yourself. So you start so to say the things. But watched by big companies, governments, or everyone. I mean, we're looking at multi, well, I mean, but also multi I mean, multinationals, so sort of Facebook and things like that. I mean, at the moment, there is this big debate, isn't there, with Apple and with WhatsApp, for example, of in encryption. So are you saying it's purely a governmental uh, attack on freedom of speech, uh, as well as big corporate things, because they're selling advertising as I would well, definitely say a mixture of both. But it's really this idea of being watched. So it's this idea that when you're being watched, you say you, you, you do not say the things you want to say. It's this idea of self-censorship. And I always use this really nice, sort of nice, charming analogy to try and explain this. And um, for example, when you're in a, in a classroom, which is something we've all experienced, you're sitting there talking to your friends and so on, and you can hear, you can feel the breath of your teacher standing be behind you okay. and, and the presence. All right, so, so, so you think that is in people's minds now. You also, yeah. your film say that people are sleepwalking perhaps I into this very su surveillance uh, society. Just, just talk about um, the, the ne necessity though for protecting citizens against, for example, terrorism uh, and that conflict with uh, free freedom of speech. You, you interviewed a former CIA employee, didn't you? spent two and a half years in prison for describing torture at uh, secret mm. sites. Uh, so so how, 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 do you, how, do you, how do you make that trade-off? Yeah, I mean, it's like, that's the classic example. It's like, should there be a balance between freedom of speech or freedom and security? I personally think that is completely the wrong question we should be asking. I think the question that we should be asking is, would you rather accept the threat, the threat of a terrorist attack, or keep the ability to communicate freely? Right. That's a, well, that's a, that's a difficult, um, difficult uh, philosophical uh, question, isn't it? But, but, I mean, my answer to that would really be that <coughs> freedom on a fundamental level is everything this society builds itself on. In that every right, every constitution, every constitution even this conversation that we're having right here, is, is, is allowed because we can communicate freely. Okay. And so if you start to limit that, if you start to degrade that, you start to degrade everything else in society. I'm afraid in, I'm going to have society. to limit this uh, freedom of expression now because we're coming <laughs> to the, the end of this. It's but a long uh, subject. Yeah. It is a long subject uh, and it's just been shown at the Berlin Film Festival. But thank you very much indeed for joining us. Thank uh, you.